Howdy do. Welcome back. And we are in Cancun. Cancun. Cancun, mate. We got the Cancun pod going on. We're here. We're live. Cancun pod. Kyle, me and Kyle have, we've been here for one day. And the first day was absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> Real life, though. It was crazy. It was wild. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect Cancun to be everything that everyone said it was. And I show up here and it's fucking everything I dreamed of. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I might not leave either. I might just call my work and tell them to fuck off and I'm fucking staying Bro, in Cancun. We got we to gotta get a hold of somebody and call our new work because we're getting jobs here. We're fucking staying. <laughs> I might I might get a job here in Cancun building mud huts. Dude, All right. No, so the flight, in, the flight in gave you a little bit of a insight on how the rest of Mexico is. Goddamn the amount of just free space and amount of uh, like you're flying over Ohio, you're flying over America anywhere. And it's honestly you see a lot of cornfields, you see a lot of just like used up land you come down here and you're flying in bro you see like jungle not jungle but like heavy wood heavy, heavy wood just like heavy natural but it's like that's that's so good to see does that make sense yeah like, no it is it's not like super crowded with 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 buildings and and people yeah exactly and i mean flying and seeing buildings and seeing all that shit that's cool but it, it looks like trash it looks like clutter Dude, so we are, so we're on the plane. Kyle, tell them about your your plane situation. Dude, Kyle almost picked up a nice little Asian baddie. Almost yeah, picked up an Asian baddie. He almost had to get get fucking WhatsApp. <laughs> well, I mean, I downloaded it. I had to. You did no, download it? Well, this is the thing. I couldn't download it on the plane. So I had to download it when we landed. Yeah. And then the window closed. You know what I mean? And you lost it. Yeah. I mean, it's all right. So I... I uh, sat down on my seat for the plane, empty row, happy. But I'm like, also thinking, what if a baby girl just comes and sits down? Here she comes. <laughs> comes and sits down right, right next to me. Sure as shit, I was right. Baby girl Asian. She was from Japan. She was like from Japan. It's not like she was just Japanese. You know what I mean? She spoke broken English, and I was risen her up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so, so right now, dude, Kyle, just hold your laptop up and show them how they can see me. We are, I'm, we are right by the fucking ocean. Dude, don't hold your laptop over the edge, dude. That's sketchy, dude. Oh, oh, look at that guy. Look at that. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. So the first night we get here, you know, we were traveling for probably what 14 hours, like because of layovers and all that dumb shit. Well, let's, the let's drive to leave out the fact that so our flight was at 7 a.m. in Detroit, two and a half or two hours away. It was literally like an hour and 25, if that. And uh, we left at like 2 30 a.m. to get to the airport. So, you know, me and Ed, we ain't no fucking early risers. <laughs> we stayed up all night, dude. So before we, we had to. So Cal comes over to my house at like eight o'clock and we didn't bring weed to Mexico, obviously. So we we like we smoked bongs, we mega bong rips, mega backwoods. We got super stoned, and then we sat in the airport for hours off end with no sleep. We we didn't even go to bed. And the thing is, is like we smoked probably at like one thirty to two a.m. Like heavy, heavy. Yeah. To where then when we left at 2.30, we were, like, high as fuck, just stoned. And, uh, dude, we got, like, four hours before our plane takes off. So, if you could just imagine. Oh, 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 he almost did it. He almost did it for the pod. He almost did it for the pod. Yeah, I was way too no, fucking. Yeah, we were, we, were, we were running on no sleep. Come down from just, like, a. A barrage of marijuana, just a fucking steady <laughs> inflow. Of if this dude shows me his ass, it's gonna be all over the pod. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail. Sir. I can't. I can't. I can't do this right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So all right, then so we we get, we get to Mexico. First night, we just have like a couple of drinks, and the guys that we're with don't want to go out. 
And this the bartender tells us uh he just showed me his ass with his balls. Oh no, no. That's we can't show that on the pod. No. That's 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 for the Patreon. That's <laughs> for the Patreon. You gotta pay to see that asshole and fucking balls. <laughs> so we uh so the the bartender tells us about this place down the road, like we're leaving the the resort to go to this fucking club. And me and Kyle are like, fuck it, let's just go. You know, like, we're ready to make a memory. We're already, like, five drinks deep, just, like, a little fucking. Yeah. You know I mean? And uh, the bus is about to pull up in, like, ten minutes. They're telling us, like, if you want to go, last last bus to go out there. Kyle sprints, gets changed. We go. It's called this white party where everybody's dressed as white. We get there, and it is fucking huge. It was, huge. It was popping. Poppin'. I swear. Hey, I will say. play the clip. <laughs> yeah, oh, so we, so we just, it's fucking huge. It's popping. And uh, we're just making laps around this whole party, just getting fucked. I got so... All right, I haven't drank in seven months. And the first day that I drank, I got fucking hammered. 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 This guy was wasted. And uh, so we're at this white party. There's a big robot, a ton of baby girls. And I, and I end up getting this uh, elder lady's phone number. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and then all right so we get back to the resort and we meet up with this uh guy and girl from canada and they end up being cool as fuck and i don't really know how to talk to this older chick give my phone to his girl she ends up cock blocking me practically it's crazy when you meet people on a road trip when it's just like no that that's literally the best part is talking to people that you're never going to talk to again yeah. so you get, I mean, if you're a psycho and you're a crazy person, you can say anything and just convince them of who you are. But if you're a fucking real dude, like, just tell them what's up. You know what I mean? Tell them what you're doing. Tell them what, like, how you got here. And all of a sudden, you're in a fucking 30 minute conversation about just Mexico <laughs> or about fucking bitches. Yeah, dude, yeah. this is actually insane. This is so much fun. No, yeah, this is the move. I mean, if you're gonna do a vacation, this is how you fuck Yeah, and it sucks yeah. because we come here, we're living the fucking life, we're eating the fuck ton, anything we want, all all exclusive or inclusive. I don't know what the fucking word is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh what was I gonna say? <laughs> and uh no, yeah, we gotta go back to Ohio. Yeah, and then yeah. and then we have to go back to our fucking nine to five. I I'm, I'm living in a fucking shack. Hey, you know what? This is just a taste. Just a taste of whoa! Can't say oh yeah. No, yeah. This is just a taste of what is to come yeah. in the future. And then uh, what was I gonna say? So we're down here in Mexico. We're trying to find a weed. You good, brother? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. You'd think <laughs> weed Mexico easy. And it probably is, but you know, two males walking around asking the questions that cops ask. You know what I mean? They're, they don't. Where's the give weed? Them. Where's the dope? <laughs> and we've had no, zero luck. And uh, yeah, we can't find weed. We go up to these jet ski. All right, Kyle, you tell. So yeah, before we came, my pops told me he went to Cancun like I'd say probably twenty years ago now at this point. But he ended up getting his mota, his marijuana, from the jet ski guys. So he was, like, gung-ho. He's, like, telling me, like, you got to go to the jet ski guys. They'll have it. They're fucking – it's not like they're square individuals. Like, they, they ride jet skis. They can't hide. They, they live life, yeah. you know? So we, we go up and we ask them. And, uh, shit, beforehand, we see them. We're on a balcony, and they're down there with the jet skis. And they see us like looking at them for a second. They're like, "Huh, huh?" Like trying to tempt us into getting on the jet ski. And, uh, and we're like we looking, at them, like, looking at them. We're like, <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah!" They started pointing. One dude, dude pointed at his fanny pack. You notice that? You notice I did that? Not he notice pointed that. at, yeah, he pointed at his like whatever, like his waistband. And uh, shit, he had us convinced. We found the plug. So we walk on, mosey on down there. And by the time we get down there, it's clear as day. 
that this new guy that walked up is the manager. There's like three people, mm. two people that we were talking to on the balcony. We get down there, third guy, a little more uh, professional, looking, yeah. I'd say. And we still went up there and asked. You got it. You got to What did you say, Kyle? Like, what are you telling? Donde el mota? Donde? Donde el mota? Compra? Uh huh. Dude, I know me. We and then, Spanish, like the but... first thing he does is just point at the fucking Mexican military. And I'm like looking at him. I'm like, you about to fucking snitch on me? You tell on me him, right like, now? Should, should I ask them? <laughs> he said, "No, you'll go to jail." Yeah, they ended up telling us. Yeah, it's like sketchy. Yeah, not the move, not the place. And at this resort, they had these parties where it's like color parties. It's like one's the white party, pink party, neon party. So tomorrow is the pink party, but Saturday is the neon party, and it's gonna be fucking popping. The white party, we got a taste of the white party. White party like, was we insane. If we would have, I don't know, not I, I dare say showed up earlier. If we, if we could have showed up earlier though, we would have had a little bit more of a time. You know what I mean? But fuck, last night we were there, we were living, we were out here. When they, me and Kyle are sitting in, in the bus and we're like looking at, we're looking at each other like, holy fuck, we're leaving the resort to go to this party that somebody just told us about. And I was honestly nervous. I thought maybe we could get in trouble right here. Part of me, I mean, I could understand your nervousness, but honestly, I was not nervous at all. I was like, you're just here for the adventure. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. If, if anything went bad, I was right. You know what I mean? So we get there and it, uh, we didn't realize how official this party was. I mean, obviously we knew it was like white party, Rio resort, all that. But when we showed up, it was like a big pool in the middle, bubbles everywhere, literally females lining the whole thing. Dude, just, a ton of chicks, dude. Just a ton of baby girls. No, it was cool. It was cool. It was fun. A ton but, of baby uh, girls and uh, ass everywhere and me and kyle were out we're trying to just do our thing you know riz up the ladies finger guns pulling out the what's finger up guns. baby uh, <laughs> they love the finger uh, guns apparently they do man. you gotta <laughs> when, you, when you're in situations like that where there's so many people and so you know, like you can try out just many different tactics does that make yeah, sense and you can just go up and just fail, of like fucking utterly fail, and it's totally fine because like five minutes later, there's another one ready for you to fail again. <laughs> <laughs> and like the thing is, is I haven't been really like using the whole talking to girls uh, out in public thing since I like quit drinking. It's not as uh, easy as it used to be. So I got fucked up last night, and I was able to talk to girls. I was able to the dance. I was letting loose. Isn't that fucked up? How uh, alcohol kind of does that? Convinces you that you're only able to talk to girls and make moves when you're drunk. Yeah, it, it makes me. It. I literally thought I was like. I, I thought everybody was at the white party for me. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look at that man! That man out here living. Look at that face. Look at that face, <laughs> dude. Oh. That was oh, so man. much fun. No, that was the shit. I'm super glad we went to that because, like we said, we showed up yesterday at fucking four, got checked in. It took about an hour and a half to actually get to the point where it's like, okay, what do we do now? And we went to the beach, hung out there for a little bit. And then, yeah, we heard about the white party. And everyone we're with, tired as shit. I was tired as shit. I didn't sleep. I slept yeah. on the plane two hours. I slept maybe three, four hours. But after I started drinking, and the music was so loud, like my shit was. Dude, once you, yeah, once you were convinced to go to the white party and you actually got there, it was like, fuck. There's no way I'm not living life right now. I got to just do this shit. I got to just step two. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, so we were trying to promote the podcast out there. We we're trying to, we we're trying to get the word out. We really we we're telling man. them, hey, you gotta check out this really fucking shitty podcast. <laughs> no, real life. No. We, I mean, we forewarned them. We forewarned them. If they're gonna come in here thinking we're goddamn Joe Rogan experience, they got, they got like fucked up. They don't know what they're, they're signing up for. They don't know the retarded shit they're about to hear. 
<laughs> no, but we had a couple of people we did tell them about, and they were like, they were pretty hype. It was funny because it's like, seemed like they obviously watch podcasts all the time, and then running into somebody who's starting a shitty podcast is just like, hell yeah, get to see the uh, growth. Yeah, and uh, what was I gonna say? So we decided okay, we're gonna do this pod. In the middle of the trip, and then we're, we should do a pod after the pink party, and then maybe after the neon party, or we should do a pod after both the parties, like right before we leave. True. I mean, we gotta let the people know what's going on. Yeah, dude, this pink party is about to be fucking insane. <laughs> but not. Two cents is out here covering some major parties coming up. I swear. But yeah, yeah, uh, we just wanted to fill you guys in on the Cancun trip. It's pretty good. We haven't gone to jail yet. We haven't found weed. Our whole mission right now is to find weed. So hopefully the next time we talk to you guys, we'll have weed. We'll be sparking up. Yeah, Yeah. we can spark it up on camera. I don't give a fuck. I'm in Mexico. Uh (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But yeah, all right. So we're going to go back and party. Thanks for watching. Guys, I give you guys another little view of what's going yeah. on hey. out here. Oh, take about to Cancun. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Peace, deuces.